guys. Hello, hello. <sighs> so I'm very excited about the topic today um, because this is something that I have been working on my entire life, deconstructing the beliefs that I was brought up with, deconstructing uh, old archaic ideas and entering into a very different kind of way of living and believing and expansion within my being. So really, um, I'm going to, uh, so we're talking about um, bringing the, the saint and the slut together, the saint and the slut together to create this divine union, which is this beautiful um, unfolding that's happening now within the feminine, the the divine feminine energy, right? Accepting all parts of who we are as feminine beings, including that divine part of us, um, which expand, can expand to, and I'll get more into that as uh, in this video, the, the divine edges, the really divine, um, full, juicy love edges, and then the deep, D dark, um, open, slut sexual edges as well, like allowing both of those parts of our being to come together so that we are accepting it all. And they it's interplaying. It's part of the same thing. I mean, I think that's the ultimate, it's the ultimate goal for me and for many women that I've talked to, ultimate goal. It's it's a it's a it's an exploration. Exploration into looking at ourselves as feminine beings in a very different way and allowing our feminine energy to really expand, 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 and and, and be accepted in every part of who we are. So I'm gonna get into that. And and at the end, I'm going to give like I'm gonna give a little exercise just to help us feel it in a more visceral way. So if if you're enjoying the talk and you're excited to be part of this and stay to the end for that little exercise to help really bring it all together. So um, if you're live, then you can uh, be part of this and I'm gonna ask some questions. And if you come on later, uh, please comment, please put some comments below. You know, I want this to be a discussion. I want the Wild Feminine Rising to be a discussion, a sharing. There's so many amazing women in this group that have so much to offer and so much wisdom. I don't have it all. We don't have it all. We're just, we're explorers, experimentators of, of the sexual, of the feminine, of the creative, of, you know, all of these things. We're exploring and experimenting in our own ways, um, in our own ways, in our own time. But we created this to bring others together that have like this deep, these deep wisdoms and these deep experiences as well. So um, please, uh, please feel free to share and comment. It really, really helps everybody because it brings all these, these different perspectives and, and stuff that, that we don't, that I don't know, I don't know everything. <laughs> um, so getting into this concept of the saint and the slut. So first of all, let's let's look at the word saint. What emotions does that conjure up for you? What what do you feel when you hear the word saint, you know, and in a feminine sense, the feminine saint? What comes up for you in an emotional way? Um, you know, for me, I can I think because I come from and I'm going to really focus on some aspects of my own background and how um, I started out with the kind of beliefs that I started out and then how that transformed. Starting off with this con the concepts of the saint. I was not brought up in a religious background. Um, on the other hand, contrary to that, my mother was an atheist, but she was brought up in a Roman Catholic traditional way. And so there was a lot of pressure put on her to be a certain kind of a woman, right? A saint, a saint. And even though she entered into, you know, it was sort of gradual as I, as I was um, getting older, she entered into the deep levels of atheism because she, I guess she was destroyed by what had happened in her past and just did not 
believe in anything and so went to the extreme. But she still held on to a lot of beliefs that that you know that they weren't talking about that she wasn't talking certainly not talking in deep ways around sexuality certainly not talking about um you as a feminine being how does sex come into this uh there were sort of there were there were guidelines there were beliefs there were strict rules about how you were to be and that was very much connected to the saint right so when i think of saint getting back to that question thinking about what kind of emotions come up around the word saint? I think about um, holding holding um, one's sexual expression until marriage, you know, um, not expressing one sexually because that was considered bad or inappropriate, um, not and certainly not acting sexual in any way. Uh, because if you did, if you showed yourself in a sexual way, you were considered, then then um, you were asking for it, basically, right? You're asking for it. So being saintly, being being the chaste girl, being the good girl, being the quiet girl, being the, so I hit these, the, for me, it's just, it's just the, the word saint is restrictive, really restrictive. And I felt... I had so much that I wanted to express, but I felt so restricted as a young girl. And I remember being like so frustrated at times and not really understanding why. Uh, just, just the energy in my body was just wanting to come out and be expressed and be wild and be free. But I was under this umbrella of, you know, be a good girl, be calm, be, be, um, you know, my mother was a big feminist, but very much like we have to be like men or better than men, right? So um, hold on to what you have, hold on to that that uh, that emotional part of you, that sexual part of you, that creative part of you. It's not to be shown or expressed because we have to prove that we're, you know, we are the saints, we are the strongest, the most powerful, the most chaste, you know. So it was very frustrating for me because I was a very fluid girl who wanted to express and wanted to know about what this, what, why I couldn't express these deep desires I had within me. But the beliefs were very strong, you know, the beliefs were very strong about what you were to be as a woman, as your, what kind of expression that you were allowed to have. So, um, I felt really, really restricted, and I think I think a lot of a lot of women do, and that's how, why we, we're talking a lot about it now. All of these these beliefs that came with us in in my generation, generations before me, um, of course. Now we're talking to our children very differently, talking to girls very differently, talking about these all of these things that restricted the feminine from the, the saintly qualities per se, these saintly uh, church imposed, religious imposed qualities that we are supposed to. We're supposed to be, we're supposed to act like, we're supposed to represent, right? So we have that saint, right? Um, but the when I look at the word saint, when I read a lot about the saints and when we connect it to the feminine energy, what we were actually being forced fed and being forced to live up to that saint was really a wounded kind of a saint concept, right? Because it was about holding oneself back, about being the good girl, not expressing anything that was too outward or too too much or too even educated or intellectual. Just hold it in and be very kind and sweet and 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 you know like this like this <laughs> and it's kind of a wounded uh it's, a, it's a, to me it's a wounded um it's a wounded uh description of what saint is because when we look at the healthy the the um blossomed aspect of the saint it is it is love right pure pure love open to everything and everyone and and full with that love, right? Full with acceptance of others, full with acceptance of oneself, full with, with um, divinity, right? Full with the divinity of one's own being and of the world and the universe. <laughs> so 
I think, you know, shifting that concept around Satan, that's something I've been, I've worked on myself because I've had a very distorted concept of what Satan meant. And so fought against that a lot, really, really fought against it as I got into my my 20s and my 30s. And just like, I I don't want to be there. I don't want to be in that. I don't want to have anything to do with that. That's 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 not who I am. That's not what I want in my life. I want to find something that's that's more expressive, more wild, more free, more creative. And um, so, but now I've just, I, now I look at this concept of saint as really the holder of of love like fall on love and not love where it's all yes i love you for everything but also love in saying no love because because you love who you are you love you you need to take care of yourself in order to be able to offer the deepest amount of love and you need to be able to say no with the deepest of love. <laughs> so that's the saint that I'm looking at, right? And finding those edges of love, right? Unconditional love, unconditional love. What can you love in an unconditional manner with, you know, with your boundaries as well, with your ability to say, no, that's not what I believe is something I want to, that, that something that's, that's, that I believe is loving, but at the same time, being there without judgment, right? Being there without judgment in the capacity of deep love. All right. So that's the saint, that kind of wounded element, the kind of distorted element of saint that, that I grew up with and many women grew up with. And then this, this, the, the other, um, it's not new, but it's 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 a resurfacing, I guess, a resurfacing description, the resurfacing um, uh, uh, description, yeah, uh, of of what a saint is and what a saint can really be as a feminine being, right? Okay, so we have that. There we here we have this saint, right? We have the edges of this healthy saint and something that uh, 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 an archetype, uh, an energy that that we can continue to explore and experiment with how much love can I offer within myself, for myself, for the world, for, for everything around me? What, how can I open to this love? Because love is also, you know, it's a scary energy for many people to work their way through. So say the saint is here to protect, the saints are here to guide us and protect us and hold space for us and, and show us that love is the way, love is the way, right? All here, all of this energy here, the love, the love, the love, the love, the love. And then we get to the slut, right? The slut. And this is another, um, Another word I grew up with that was absolutely forbidden to say, <laughs> absolutely forbidden to uh, be considered. I know there's still a lot of, of uh, difficulty around this word for many, many young women, girls growing up. Uh, for me, for me, I mean, the slut was, was the absolute opposite of the direction that I was taught to go and that was definitely something I would I was like oh my god this slut that's that's disgusting you know the the idea that 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 and I was looking up and doing a lot of reading around this concept of slut and it's it's almost always related to prostitution or whore right prostitution or whore so you were considered um, you were considered you're considered a whore, basically a slut, a whore, a prostitute, someone who who just had sex and did sex in a very un un uh, 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 well, people thought it was a, in a, a sort of a disgusting manner, put down at the bottom of society. You were at the bottom of society if you were in any way a woman connected to the sexual, okay, and you were a whore and a slut, a whore and a and a prostitute. So for you, well, for you, for example. For you at this moment in your life, what does slut connotate for you? What kind of feelings come up when you when you think about the word slut? If you if you have a second to tap type in a word, I would love to get any kind of comment about your own feeling about the word slut. You know? Does it does it 
bring on really negative connotation, negative feelings for you? Or does it, is it something that you've embraced that you feel, yeah, you know, like I've embraced this concept. I'm, I'm, I, you know, I'm going to talk more about this kind of wounded slut concept and then the healthy concept of slut as well. But for you, what do you, what is your, what is your, your, your immediate emotion that comes out like one word, even like type in one word that comes up for you. Think about one word that comes up for you. Like for me, because I've worked a lot through the concept of slut, and if I think about it right now, I think um, power, you know, I think about sexual power. I think about a freedom. <laughs> I think about awakened, awakened, you know, and that's, that's the 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 journey from that wounded concept of slut that we have held on to for generations generations and the transformation that's taking place to this the slut being the awakened sexual woman right the awakened sexual woman the woman who's 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 fully connected to her sexual energy her sexual dimension and not afraid of it Okay, not afraid of it, has no fear of, of, of exploring there, of speaking about it, of, of, ta of, of connecting with her partner in a very sexual way, um, not afraid of supporting others around sexuality. You know, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a whole transformation and accepting that word slut. Yeah, I'm a slut. That's fantastic. I love that fact that I'm, I can be very slutty and enjoy it, <laughs> enjoy it and fully laugh at it. I mean, I have totally embraced it. Um, coming from uh, a young girl growing up terrified that I would, that anybody could possibly call me that, though nobody would have because I was a very, very good girl my entire high school through my university years. But there were those girls, the odd girl that, that, that was just, just could not keep herself in that box and just had this energy that she needed to explore. And what, what does she get called? The slut. She's like, she's, she's tormented. Maybe she's treated differently by the, the, the boys in the school. And, and so she had to work through, she had to work through that, all those difficulties. And, and I was always super intrigued by these women and they became friends of mine. They were connections with me. I never, I was always open to kind of who are they? How can, how do they, how are they able to express themselves so sexually? You know, when I wasn't, I was scared, terrified, terrified. And, and, and we still are terrified to allow ourselves to step into that, into that, into that, um, that sexual dimension, into that ability to, to, to say, hey, I am a sexual being. What I feel and what I want and what I desire sexually is something I fully embrace and accept. And I don't give a flying fuck what anybody thinks because I am a woman that's connected deeply to her sexual energy. And it's, you know, it's it's important to me as a human being and as a feminine being, and it it allows me it moves through. You know, so there's there's just so there's so much you can go in that that healthy slut energy. There's so many directions you can go, and so much you can explore, and we continue to. I mean, I'm not. It's not over for me. There's 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 still stuff that comes up from my past that affects me, and. Um, there's so much out there in society that really like cuts it, cuts the, the slut down all the time. Um, in different cultures in different, in different, um, in different, <laughs> different areas of, of where we live in business and in society and education. I mean, it's just really not been fully, not even close to being fully embraced yet. Um, so we have a long way to go and that is exciting too, because that is the journey that, that, that is open for us. And so we have our, I mean, you know, we go back here, so we have our, our, now we have our divine saint and we have our divine slut, right? We have these energies and the slut energy is lower chakras, of course, because this is our sexual energy and the divine saint energy is, is our upper um, chakras, our upper uh, heart based energies. And 
now getting to <laughs> what I was here to talk about, why can't we put these two together? Why is it, why can't we make these, this energy and make this energy um, move together, combine together? Why are we separating these energies, right? Why have they been so separated? When it's like, it's like cutting off the woman around her waist, you know? It's like cutting you off. Either you're the saint or you're the slut, you know? But that doesn't make us a whole being, right? We're not a whole being. And so now we want to become this whole being. We want to become a whole being. We want to start, we want to start working on becoming the wholeness of us. And that, that's that a lot of people are talking about this becoming whole again. And this is what they mean, connecting our saint and our slut so that it's all one whole being, accepted, loved, um, expressed, desire. All of this is all part of us, all accepted by us, all accepted by those around us. And um, expressed fully without judgment. That's the ultimate, you know. Can we get there? Can we get there? Yes, we can get there. Of course we can get there. We can, it just takes one person at a time. And this is what the wild feminine rising is about, right? C really connecting these different parts of us that have been disjointed and cut off and listen to Bella Bablumia's talk. She gets into some deep elements about where the sexual energies have been cut off in our being deep within the, in religion and mythology and, and how that, how, yeah, how it's led us to where we are. And I'm getting into discussing it more in an energetic sense. And for me, it's been the most incredible journey that I that it's just taken over my life. This journey because I I see so many people cut off from one or the other, and it's not about it's about bringing them together. It's about becoming whole again. It's about becoming whole, becoming a whole feminine being, and the wild is being able to express it in any way that you want. And that's going to be different for everybody, right? It's going to be different for everybody. Um, and so what's your expression? What's your expression when you bring these two divine, the divine union of the saint and the slut together? What is your expression, is your way to show you're bringing your deep love together with your sexuality, right? You're bringing this and it's mixing. So you're, you're loving yourself as a sexual being and you're able to love unconditionally that through your creative sexual energy. And it's just, it's just this beautiful combination, this beautiful connectivity of, of who we are as feminine, as feminine beings, right? So, yes, I love it. I love it. I love it. And I have an exercise for you that will help make it feel more visceral because, you know, we, could, we can talk about it and yes, we can understand it and we can talk about the past. We can talk about the future. We can talk about how these beliefs are changing and the beliefs we came from and the beliefs that we're going into and the beliefs that we want. But how do you feel it, like really feel it in your body so that you can start to transform within yourself, right? How do you transform within yourself? So I have a really beautiful exercise that I learned recently um, that I would love to share with you. And uh, I think this is something, and I I keep this exercise in a visual visualized because it's so powerful, and I think it will be it will be it'll be beautiful for you, for you. So stick around for a second if you're still on. Um, let's go there right now. So. What I want you to do is think about, you can close your eyes. I think that's probably easiest if you close your eyes and I will just talk you through this short little exercise. So you close your eyes and think about inside of your heart. Think of your heart like a rose, okay? Any color rose you want, whatever color it comes to mind, it doesn't matter. The color that that connects with you the most right now. That rose is sitting within your heart, okay? Just a beautiful little gentle rose. Now, 
you can see this rose, you can feel its softness and its gentleness now, right? Now think about that rose slowly opening, 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 opening fully, becoming this full, beautiful, layered, you know, velvety, gorgeous rose within your heart, just filling your heart, right? Just filling your heart and radiating this energy of love. I think this is a rose just opens and, and, and radiates love, love, love energy from within your body. So you feel it within your whole body and you just feel it radiating from your body. Energy of love, 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 love. Okay, so here is this rose. <sighs> Breathe in that energy of love. Now imagine this rose slowly, slowly goes down, down your body, down slowly into your, down, down into your, your solar plexus and down, down to your sexual pelvic chakra, second chakra, your, this rose is open and full in your chakra, second chakra, sexual energy area. And now, can you feel that love now within your sexual area, within your second chakra, just love radiating, radiating, radiating from your sexual organs, from your sexual energy, okay? Just feel that, feel that beautiful, open, juicy, radiating, magnetizing energy of the rose. And breathe it in, breathe it into your whole body. So you can see that this love, this energy of love is part of us. It's part of us. And we, we can bring these energies up and down through our bodies. And we can visualize the rose open throughout our entire being as, as kind of um, a symbol of, of our our, our acceptance of who we are as a loving being and as a sexual being of the connection that the rose is, is a is, is part of our is part of all of us and it blossoms through our entire body and how this rose is also something that that radiates from our body it, it vibrates outwards right it vibrates outwards so we have the the love generating in the upper area upper chakras and the lower chakras and just then throughout our entire body it just radiates and it the frequency of love goes out everywhere with even within our sexual being especially within our sexual being and so with that you can open your eyes now with that energy that we take down into our sexual being, we can start to love our sexual being. We can start to love who we are as sexual beings. We can start to love what we desire and start to allow it, allow it to be expressed in however we want to express it. It's, it's, it's an important, crucial, essential part of becoming a whole feminine being. Okay, so if you've done this exercise, I would love to hear a comment from you, how you feel. Uh, when I do this exercise, I feel, I feel really open. Like I start, suddenly my legs start to open up and my arms get open. It's just like the whole energy, front energy of my body is just this rose projecting. And if you can, if you can feel that and you can think that, then you can start to create a union between your saint and your slut. And when you hear yourself thinking about things around sexuality and, uh, um, and, and hear, you know, you, you, negative things coming in or fear holding you back from expressing what you want, think about this rose that you've, you've opened up within your sexual, uh, within your sexual dimension of your being and, and how it is just so full of love how it wants, how it is about the expression of love, right? How we can bring these aspects of our being together to create a union, a divine union of the feminine, the divine union of the feminine. Okay, I'm going to end it there. Um, 
thank you so much for coming and I would love to hear any comments you have or anything you're feeling now. Uh, next week, um, we're going to be doing, B Bella, me and Fabiana are going to be doing a talk about this aspect of the, 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 the divine feminine, the saint and the slut and, and finding what is the home for this energy? Where do we find home for this? So I will we'll be posting about where that's going to take place. Love to have you join in. Thank you for coming uh, today. And enjoy, enjoy explore, exploring and experimenting with this new energy that we've connected together. Okay. Mwah! Much love making.